Hello, my name is Florin and I'm a developer advocate at JetBrains. In today's video, we'll have a look on how to connect DataGrip and other IntelliJ IDEA-based IDEs to Google Cloud Platform and use BigQuery. Let's start by going to the Google Cloud Platform console and head over to the I am an admin section of the account, then select service accounts, and let's create a new service account. We'll name this DataGrip so that we can identify it easier. And then we can select the roles that we want. We need the metadata viewer to allow us to view the metadata, the viewer account for data, job user to be able to launch jobs, and the general user to be able to run queries. After we continue, we can select the Create Key option in order to download the key that we want. Make sure that the key is in JSON format and hit the Create button. Save the file on disk and keep the location at hand for later. Now, let's head over, since we are downloading, to the Google Cloud Platform help page for BigQuery, where you can see the overview and documentation. Scroll down until you see the Solution Providers page and then select Simba Drivers. Here you'll be able to find the Simba Drivers for Google BigQuery and scroll down until you see the current JDBC driver releases. Select the JDBC 4.2 compatible driver and download this one. After the download is complete, Extract the archive that you receive in a separate folder, and then let's head over to our ID. Here, we can create a new driver, and let's call this a BigQuery driver. From the driver files page, make sure that you select the location where you extracted all the files, select all the jar files from this directory, make sure that you don't select anything else, and then wait for the indexing process to finish here. Once the indexing process is finished, Select instead of Java SQL driver here the ComSimba BigQuery JDBC 4.2 driver and nothing else. Then we want to be able to connect to the Google BigQuery server, so we need to add a URL template called default and then paste the value as indicated in the blog post. I'll pause here for a second if you want to take a screenshot of this and type it manually. After this, head over to Options and select the generic SQL from the dialect list. And from the Advanced tab, we can go and select the Auth project type to be zero. Once the driver has been created, we can then go and add a new data source. Let's name this just BigQuery. And from the connection type, let's select the URL only. Leave the username and password blank, as this will be provided through the key that we downloaded earlier. Go to Options and select Read-only, since this is a read-only account that we created with the service account. And then head over to the Advanced Settings, and let's populate this. First, let's start with the OAuth service account email. We can get this OAuth service account email from the page that we created earlier under the I am an admin service accounts. And we just need to copy paste this value. Once pasted, we also have access to the project ID, which we can take and then use here. Make sure that no blank spaces are present, both in the project ID or in the service account email, like in this case. For the private path or on the auth token, go back to where we downloaded the JSON file earlier for the key and paste that path here. Again, make sure that no spaces are left before or after the connection. Finally, you can set a custom timeout for the project, or you can set a global one like we did earlier with the all type. Select the Apply button, and then head over to the General tab. You can see that the ID started testing the connection itself, so you don't need to click on the Test Connection button again. If you see this message, it means that we've connected successfully to the Google BigQuery servers. And now we can close this window and start using our own databases. In the example that we have in the blog post, we are using the public database for Shakespeare names, and we'll just do so here as well. As you can see, the query run, and we have access to all the data that it returned from the select query. That's it for today. Thank you for watching how to connect DataGrip and other IntelliJ IDEA-based IDEs to Google Cloud BigQuery.